destination mark. Nintendo, what are you doing, man? Hey guys, how's it going? Marcella here, and what the fuck? Seriously, this is some shady ass bullshit. It's one thing to take down something that can potentially infringe on copyright, something that you hold dear, or something that's your property, without the, you know, acquired permission. Like if we went ahead and tried to make the Crash fan film and do the Kickstarter, raising money for a project based off something that's not even ours, without the awareness and permission of Activision, who holds the rights to that uh, property, then there's just this. The preserving, in the Internet Archive, preserving old Nintendo Power Magazine articles and such from the magazines themselves way back in the day, that's harmless. People can, it sucked. It really did suck when Nintendo Power discontinued. I have that stack that I just held up in the thumbnail. Those are all mine. Those were all subscriber edition magazines when it was still running. That's like, it's right here on my bed. Uh, that's like about two or three years or so, I think. I can't even read the spines. Um, I have the very last issue right here. I hope, I don't, I hope this video doesn't get taken down because I'm looking at Nintendo Power. I'm showing it on the screen. But it was a really cool magazine and it was a big deal that it, you know, discontinued because that was how we got all of the Nintendo exclusive inside scoops on the new games and the new consoles, the DS, the Wii, the Wii U, almost the Wii U were all shown off here. Uh, around the time the Wii U was about to come out is when the magazine was discontinued. But come on, this is really shitty of you. It's super harmless to just, I've been wanting to figure out where I could get, I know a lot of people sell them like on Amazon, on eBay, but to just read them all in one go, I've always wanted to see what the um, late earlier ones were, the freaking really old uh, classic ones, and now I can't. I wanted to, once I found out that someone preserved them, I was like, oh, hey, cool, I want to go read them. I never got around to doing it, and now I can't, because Nintendo took them down. Um, not only that, but they took down very recently a Metroid 2 fan project. Oh, okay. Um, well, it's a good thing that um, I never pursued my Mario fan game ideas, because if I knew this was how it was going to turn out, uh, I'd have been super disappointed, as much as I kind of am now. And I haven't even done anything fan made for Mario or anything like that. It's really sad and shitty that... They're lollygagging, they're doing everything else they can to try and get attention. Just, look, I love Nintendo, but everyone does, Sony has done shitty things too. I'm, I'm one to admit that, you know, no one's perfect in this world. But Nintendo right now, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Because we just want NX info, we just want whatever else in, for this info and for the console and what have you. and. They're doing like everything else, and they're taking down shit like this, and it's like... If you go on Twitter pages like Shitty Mario, at Shitty Mario, uh, hey, Nintendo, guess what? Many other people, other companies, not just fans, companies, are using your guys and your properties, mainly for Shitty Mario is Mario, to uh, promote their shit <laughs> without permission, and they try to change the, the design of Mario to make it look not like Mario, and it just turns out looking really bizarre, really freaking weird. Kind of a plug, Look, a little shout out, look down below for the link to that Twitter. It's great. The, the way these people try and, it, they're like bootleg rip-off Mario designs. It's so hilarious. It's, some of them scary. Um, not like actually, but like scary to look at, like, uh, okay, that's weird. But uh, disturbing, I guess would be a better word for it, but <laughs> they're funny. Anyway. If they can do things like that, those are the kinds of people you should be going after. Not fucking fans trying to show their love for something by doing a fan game or a fan project. If this is how it's going to be, should we continue the Crash fan film? And that's not a question that's actually being posed to you guys. Like, I'm going to do it. But something like this is... Uh, it's unsettling. It's not cool. It's... I don't even know. Not that long ago either, they took down a Mario 64 HD fan project, and I'll admit, it looked pretty cool, you know, so, um, it's, it's really dumb, and it's like, Nintendo, just do the shit that you need to do, focus on making your games, focus on giving us fucking information on the NX, I have no idea when you plan to announce the damn thing, but it better be soon, because my, not only is my patience as a, as a casual fan wearing thin, 
and my curiosity wearing thin, but my respect is a little bit uh, dwindling a little bit for shit like this. There's no reason you should be like, what, what did they say? We shut it down to preserve our characters and our franchises and our rights. It's like, no one's gonna do anything with the fucking magazine articles. We know it's from you. We know it's covering your shit. What are we going to do? Like, copy and paste a picture of the article of one of the pages to, like, use somewhere? Like, what would you even do with that? There's... Why not just use... You know a bunch of Nintendo fans have to have the magazine, so, I mean, they could just do that shit on their own anyway. I mean, I don't know. How? How? How and why? Would you do this and claim it's because you have to protect your characters and all that? Why? What about fan fictions? What about fucking other... What about anything else ever that's not the games that you made? That people are using the characters for? Are you gonna take all that down and try to remove it and try and recall shit? To protect your rights or whatever? I mean, I don't know. Sorry, this turned into a rant, but... Well, this whole video was basically a rant. But it's so stupid and unsettling that... All we're trying to do is show respect and our love for these fucking franchises and we try to... And he wasn't even doing anything with any, any one particular character or franchise or whatever. This dude, I don't remember the name and I'm not gonna really say it, uh, he just put up some archives of um, the, the magazines. How is that doing anything with your properties or mistreating or misusing your properties or your characters, Nintendo? Nintendo. That They didn't say who specifically took down the shit or made the call to take down the shit. They just said, Nintendo said. The entire full embodiment of Nintendo said, this is not right. Uh, who knows if it was uh, Kimishima, whoever the hell, at Nintendo specifically, like, I don't know. But this is frustrating and quite frankly, it's unacceptable because why are you spending your time instead of fucking really building up NX shit and doing whatever else you're releasing other shit that no one really cares about. You're releasing, you're um, taking down shit like this. It's <laughs> everything else but what you should be doing, which is preparing for the next generation, preparing for your biggest console yet, which you would think they'd treat it with a little bit more of like, like it was a bigger deal, you know? Because finally we're about to step out of the whole Wii, Wii U, Me, Miiverse stuff that you've been defined as for 10 years. So that's what I've been waiting for. I've been like, all right, Let's see what's next. Let's see what's next, NX. And um, no, we don't know jack shit yet. <laughs> we haven't known jack shit since they first announced the console, uh, that they were working on it. That was like, what, a year or two ago? So, I mean, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think of this? Do you think it's, were they justified in their actions? Or is it just a big steaming pile of bull? Cause that's what I think. Uh, that guy was not, going out of his way to harm anyone, do anything with the properties, with the characters, with the franchises. He wasn't trying to infringe on copyright, he wasn't trying to um, do anything. And Nintendo took it down. The entire archive of how many ever of them, if, if not all of them, from the, from like 1988, somewhere in that region, I don't, I don't even remember when the magazine started, it might have been 1988, I'm not really sure. Um, but the really old ones, let's just say that, the really old, a good handful, if not all of the really good, I don't know what you would classify as really old, I mean the magazine discontinued like three, four years ago, I don't know. The old, really, like 20 years ago, 30 years ago editions of Nintendo Power, uh, this dude was archiving, and I for one really wanted to go back in and read some of those and just see them and how they looked and how they were, um, and then this happened, so, um, Dick move, Nintendo. <laughs> Dick move. Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I will see you guys later. I am Marcelo. I'll, uh, again, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I usually say it in a different order. I don't know. Take care. Oh, jeez.